Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you watched my last video, you'll know that I made my very own DIY silicon molds, the most fun ever. I actually cast these gorgeous dog bone acrylic blanks that I ordered from Moray Lothian. As soon as I got a puppy, I knew what I wanted, so I went ahead and ordered those from him. I also used the silicon rubber from Let's Resin. So if you've got anything you wanna know, everything's gonna be linked in the description box. And I'm so excited to make these. So I am making my dog puppy accessories with a Jesmini AC100. Of course you can use any molding material you wish but I thought Jesmini would just give me that gorgeous matte strong look that I'm going for and I am using the red pigment by Jesmini. Now you can add up to 2% pigment to get a true red red but I was just kind of playing it by ear. First I put it into the liquid and then I just added the powder and yeah I just added the pigment if I felt I needed more pigment. Now I did make way too much which is most unlike me <laughs> so if you're doing anything like this make sure you've got molds to hand, you've got little molds on the side, if you've got any leftovers just pour it into yeah extra molds. So I am just mixing this up now but I realised what a mess I made so after I gave it a super solid stir I actually transferred it into a cleaner cup because I don't know why I needed to. So if you are watching this video and you've never heard of Jesmonite, this is a very fast curing, eco-friendly, biodegradable acrylic compound resin. <laughs> it's a lot safer than epoxy resin, which is why I chose to use this and not epoxy. So the first thing I'm doing is just, as you can see, pouring it in. Now I do really want to make sure I tap these a lot. So I do show you on screen exactly how much I tap them. This video here, this section here is slightly sped up because in real time I tapped for around about a minute, a whole minute. It's quite a long time when you just sit and count. I just wanted to make sure every little nook and cranny was, yeah, was covered. So this is 30 minutes later. Again, if you're new to Jesmonite, this is a super fast curing. So this is 30 minutes later and I get to demold and they are so cute. I've got air bubbles though. Such a shame. What you could do is use your silicon tool to go down inside the mold at those 90 degree angles. It's those 90 degree angles that really catch that, those air bubbles. Something I didn't do, but again, these are for me. I'm not selling them, so I'm happy. I'm cool. It's all good. Handmade with love and not perfection, remember. These are the larger dog tags. Now, if you saw my previous video, I didn't mold the huge dog tags. I just did the teeny tiny ones and the medium ones, but I'm loving loving the red i'm really really loving the red the next thing i really want to do is just get rid of any overflow oh look here i'm ahead of myself oh <laughs> the, the ruler was letting you all know that this was two and a half centimeters wide so cute so diddy like ridiculously diddy i was worried when i gave moray the measurements because i thought maybe they'd be too small for george but they're perfect okay we're back to the sanding now I like to sand immediately on demold, but just be aware that jesmonite is super fragile at this point. So if you'd rather be safe, wait 24 hours to sand. And I'm not worried too much about this because I'm sanding the backs. Once I've sealed them, that color will come back nicely. And that is all I do. And I only really use a nail file. Sanding as soon as you demold really for me is just so much easier than waiting 24 hours. This is now 24 hours later. They are fully dried, fully cured. I'm gonna use my go-to drill. This drill is absolute life. I use it for my epoxy resin and my jesmonite drilling. It is linked below in my Amazon storefront. I have a whole page on jewelry and keyring making and you'll find it there. Now, if you saw the silicon mold video, you'll know that I kind of messed up on the medium sized bones. The silicon didn't get all the way down inside the holes. so. Again, I wasn't too worried because I knew I could just drill them out afterwards and this drill is just perfect for it. So a few little kind of mm, blasts of the mini drill just to get that hole back and honestly, it really just did the job. So I'm not too worried. I'm probably not even going to mold them again, to be honest, because this is just, it's too easy to warrant going to extra trouble to get them perfect. But yeah, here we go really simple really straightforward and the one thing i love about jesmonite is it can be drilled so even if you actually made a silicon mold of something with no hole you could create the hole afterwards that's the beauty of jesmonite and i guess epoxy resin now when it came to all of the cricket detail i did do this off camera because if you've been following me a while you'll know that oh, i'm not a lover 
I'm not a lover. I'm a lover of the Cricut. I love everything that we can make with it. I'm not a lover of weeding, transferring. It's not me. It's not me. I need someone to come and do it all for me because it stresses me out. The weeding on these wasn't too bad because they're not super, you know, they're not super tiny. I am using Cricut vinyl here, but it's here where I realised I didn't even weed the E properly. No biggie. I just put it back down and get those two little pieces out from where that E is. But yeah, I'm absolutely loving the fact that I can just personalise things with my Cricut. Loving, I'm loving that. So here we are. This is the first George going on the medium sized jesmonite bone. This is going to be a key ring, which is great. I I do love me a key ring. Um, but yeah, I do fully plan on having this on one of his bags. So we got a gorgeous bag um, from a puppy club that we joined to hold all of his things. You know, like when you go out walking and that sort of thing, like your poo bags <laughs> for your poo bags and your snacks and your treats and all of that while you're out walking and your water bottle um we've got a gorgeous bag so this is going to be an accessory for that bag and i just am i going overboard here guys am i getting giddy <laughs> am i get am i becoming one of them puppy mums anyway there you see it I made a huge George and I also found gorgeous little paw prints on my Cricut and I just thought they'd be cute. I had to zoom in on this one. This was fiddly. This was so, so fiddly. It was just like the tiniest, diddiest little Cricut kind of cut out that I'd ever done. So yeah, I zoomed right in because it was quite hard to see. Being super careful. Again, this is 24 hours later, so they should be rock hard by now. But again, it's just best to be safe and just leave them as long as you can before putting anything on them or doing anything with them and actually turning them into key rings but how cute is this i can't i can't even even close up i think oh i should have sounded the back better than that <laughs> but it's all good it's all good i love these so so much so we've got a miniature dog tag which could go on his collar and then we've got a key ring as well and i just love them so much this second key ring, I'm not sure if I'm going to put it on his lead or on his harness. I'm not quite sure which way round I'm going to play it. But I made two just because I could, because I moulded three. So I made two specifically for George. And I'm really loving this font as well. It's so hard. The font Finding the font is the hardest part, but loving it. Absolutely loving it. And look at this cute little puppy. Oh, Claire, stop it. Stop it sort yourself out <laughs> but yeah I thought the, the tiny tiny teeny little pup would go so cute there what I do love about the Cricut is that they've got a lot a lot a lot of doggy things on there and I thought that the shape of this pup kind of fit him more than the others a lot of them are the you know proper breed dogs um this is quite hard okay so I had three blanks and the third one is going to my nephew Harvey um, who is my sister's brand new puppy he's just I think he's three weeks older than ours and he is a Springer Spaniel so my sister needs all of the love <laughs> because there's no way I, I could have coped with a Springer Spaniel my sister climbs mountains guys she climbs mountains and she kayaks I climb stairs <laughs> So yeah, they've got a Springer Spaniel. He's adorable. I've not met him yet because George is not yet allowed to mingle with other dogs. But as soon as George is allowed, we are heading up to visit my sister where Harvey and George are going to meet for the first time. And I'm so excited. I feel like George is probably the same size as one of Harvey's snacks. So... <laughs> we're gonna be vigilant and we're gonna very we're gonna take it very very slowly when they meet okay let's talk about key rings I decided to go sturdy on these they really need a sturdy key ring um a jump ring so all of the jump rings that I have actually came in a jewelry kit from BB craft ages ago like two years ago they're fragile they're not flimsy but they're fragile they're they're kind of designed for earrings and jewelry and just delicate things I wanted something more sturdy so I've decided to actually take the jump rings from these really sturdy key rings that I've got these are also linked below by the way in my Amazon storefront on my key ring section so I just thought they'd work better for these for these purposes you know um, they're more solid they're more 
they're solid. I've run out of words. Here we are. <laughs> I've run out of words. They're robust. That's the word I was looking for. They're more robust than the jump rings I got in the jewellery kit. Yeah, so it's a little bit wasteful because I'm taking a jump ring from one of the key rings, which means it's no, it no longer is functional as a key ring. But, you know, those are my key rings. So <laughs> all I have to do is just close them up and then add, add another key ring onto it to serve its purpose but I'm loving them guys I'm loving them so so much and for the teeny tiny diddy little George this was fiddly I feel like bigger jump rings would actually be better here it is such a small jump ring I was worried I might chip the edge or something might happen but it's okay it's kind of working but I think maybe just a slightly wider jump ring would work better here and now it's time to seal of course you could seal before you add the key ring but why make life easy for yourselves? Why? Why would you do that? <laughs> I forgot all about it, if I'm honest. Um, so yeah, I did seal after I added the key rings. This is just the Jesmonite acrylic sealer. I actually have been sent, which is great news, I've been sent two sealers to try out from another company, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying those because as we know, Jesmonite did actually discontinue their acrylic sealer, but because I've got so much of it still left, I'm still using it. Work to treat on these, absolutely work to treat. But I don't plan on having these out in the pouring rain anyway, so you really don't need to seal, but how cute are they? I'm so in love with these. I am so in love with these. And someone on my last video actually suggested that I could use these, um, these molds that I made for Christmas tree. To, um ornaments how genius is that like th some things that are so obvious to other people just don't enter my head sometimes so hello <laughs> dog and puppy christmas tree decorations i uh, that is a video that is a video it's now on my list it will happen and i honestly cannot wait and here's george here he is modeling modeling with bribery Yes, he is getting treats because we are teaching him to sit right now. He wants the whole box. Um, he gets a lot of treats, but what we do is we break one treat up into like 10 pieces. You can see here, he's not impressed with this teeny tiny crumb. Um, but his treats are minimal, guys. We do not treat him much. We're just teaching him to sit at this point. He's doing a really good job at sitting and yeah, I needed him to model this. Look at him with his little tag. I love it. He's so cute. He's so cute. Okay, I need to stop. And this is the bag I was talking about. This was sent to us by Burns Puppy Club. When you sign up to Burns Puppy Club, you get this free whole pack thing. And they sent this gorgeous bag, which is like your little adventure kit. And I thought it looked absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, on his little bag for when we go out on our walks. And yeah, I'm so, 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 so happy with the way these turned out. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you like them. I don't know. I don't know what else to ask you. Have you got a puppy? <laughs> My brain has gone to mush, guys. Here he is in the garden, licking the floor because why would he not lick the floor? You know, he's got a bowl of perfectly good food, but he wants all of the things that he can't eat. Yeah, really, really happy. He's a cutie. Here he is in the weed infested garden. He absolutely loves the garden. But today it is pouring with rain and he just won't go out in it. He's so, he's like a diva. I'm not even kidding. He won't go out in the rain. So any tips for that would be great. I mean, he does kind of, because we kind of just don't give him a choice. We pick him up and we take him out there for his toilet. But anyway, I hope you've really loved this one. I've really enjoyed making the silicon mold. There's nothing like the feeling of making your very own silicon mold. So it, it just gives you this whole sense of made from scratch, like made from scratch. So big shout out to Moray. If anyone's interested in ordering any acrylic blanks for your molds, then I'll put his details below. This is not sponsored, by the way. I did buy them myself. Um, and yeah, the silicon, all the details for the silicon will also be in the description box below. I hope you've loved this as much as I have because I just, oh, I don't know, I just want to make more puppy accessories now. Honestly do. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna become a dog channel. I said that once about resin. Does anyone remember? Anyway, I'm rambling. So I will see you all in the next video. If you're still here, thank you so, so much. We're nearly at the 15 minute mark. I appreciate you all massively. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.